Welcome to Python application programming lecture series. In this lecture video, we will discuss on list methods, deleting elements, and list and functions. So there are several built-in functions in list class for various purpose. Here we will discuss some of them. So for example, you take append is one of the built-in function in class list. This method is used to add a new element at the end of a list. For example, you take list is equal to 1, 2, 3. So here I am appended, appended i. So after that, I am appended 10. So, so here the list variable name is lst. So dot is invoke the building function building function and this is the building function append and here I am passing the parameter or argument i. So and here I am here I am using the same variable lst and I am invoke the building function by using dot operator and here I am calling the function append and here I am passing the values 10. So if you print lst the python interpreter will print the 1, 2, 3, i and 10. The use case of this append, append function is to add a new element at the end of the list. So this is my list 1, 2, 3. So here I appended i, it's printed here after 3 and again I am appended 10. So after i, 10 is printed. So this is the, this is the new list. So let's consider one more built-in function extend. So this method takes a list as an argument and all the elements in the in this list are added at the end of the invoked list. For example, so list 1 is equal to 1, 2, 3 and list 2 is 5, comma 6. So here I, I, I am using list 2. So this is the list to is the variable name so after that i invoke the building function extend so here i am passing lst1 so if you print ls2 ls2 the python interpreter will print the ls2 content first 5 comma 6 after that it's after that interpreter will print the least one values the least one values are 1 2 3 now so in the above example the list lst1 is unaltered it, it's printed it's print as it is 1 2 3 so this is the new list so sort is the one of the building function in class list this method is used to sort the contents of the list by default the function will be sort the items in ascending order for example you take list the list is equal to 3, 10, 5, 16, minus 2. So here I am using list variable name and lst. After that I am I am invoke I am going to invoke the function sort. Sort. So if you print lst, so Python interpreter will print the list content in ascending order. So list values in ascending order. So here the the uh, it's the python in interpreter it's going to print minus 2 3 5 10 and 16 so this is the sorted value so when we want a list to be a sorted in descending order we need to set the argument as shown shown in below so here so we have to set the argument this is the list name list variable name lst dot sort so within the parenthesis we have to specify reverse is equal to true reverse is is equal to true so after that we are going to print lst so this instruction it, this instruction will print the list list values or list element into a into a descending order so printed values are 16 10 5 3 minus 2 reverse is one of the built-in function in class list this method can be used to reverse the given list so for example 
you take list is equal to 3 4 3 1 6 so here I am using the reverse function reverse reverse of the list list element after that I am going to print list so this this instruction it's reverse the list elements so if you print LST it will print 6 1 3 4 so here so for example you take this is the position 1 0 uh, 0 indexing value this is 1 and this is 2 and this is 3 so this is my original list so if you invoke the reverse function so sixth position third position it's printed first and second position is printed here and first position first indexing value is printed here and zeros indexing value printed here so new indexing value for the list is for a six indexing value is zero for one indexing value is one for three indexing value is two and four indexing value is three so let's consider another built-in function count so this method is used to count the number of occurrences of a particular values within a list so for example take ls3 is equal to 1 2 5 2 1 3 2 10 so here uh, i am i am invoking the count function so here i am passing the values 2 so this instruction it's count the number of occurrence occurrence in in number of occurrence in the list so here number of occurrences are so this is the first occurrence 2 and this is the second occurrence and this is the third occurrence so if you invoke this count and if you pass the parameter so python inter interpreter will print the number of occurrence so number of occurrence is 3 the item 2 has appeared 3 times in the list clear is one of the built-in function in class list this method is removes all the elements in the list and makes a list empty for example take list is equal to 1 2 3 so here i am invoking the clear function so if you print lst the python interpreter will print the empty list so it will print only the square bracket so here the list elements are 1 2 and 3 are removes are removed so let's consider another building function the building function is insert so this insert is used to insert a value before a specified index of the list so for example you take lst is equal to 3 5 10 so here 3 indexing value is 0 5 indexing value is 1 and 10 indexing value is 2 so here I am inserting the function insert so here I am passing two parameter 1 1 comma i so here this one is the indexing value this is my string string value so if you print the list if you print the list so new python interpreter it's print the new list so li list elements are 3 3 i 5 and so here indexing value 10 so we are adding we are inserting the i so new position new list indexing value for the 3 is 0 i indexing value is 1 5 indexing value is 2 and 10 indexing value is 3 so before note that before 5 indexing value is 1 so if we insert the i at the uh, indexing value is 1 so now 5 indexing value it's going to change so here indexing value for the 5 is 2 the index function is one of the built-in function in class list this method is used to get the index position of a particular values in the list so for example you take list is equal to 4 2 10 5 3 2 6 so here i am invoke the function the function is index here i am passing the list element so here pass, i am passing 2 so here the position of the 0 4 is 
0 and 2 is 1. So, Python interpreter will print the 1 value. The 1 is the index index value of value of the 2. So, here the number 2 is found at the index position 1. Note that this function will give the index of the index of only the first occurrence of a specified value. So, here I am specifying 2. The index value for the 2 is 1. So, the same function can be used with the two more argument start and end to specify a range with within a within which the search should take place. So, for example, you take list is equal to 15, 4, 2, 10, 5, 3, 2 and 6. This is my list elements. So, here I am invoking the list dot index of 2. So, index of 2. So, this will print Python interpreter will print the indexing value for the 2. So, here indexing value for the 2 is 2. So, 15 indexing value is 0, 4 indexing value is 1 and 2 indexing value is 2. So, if the value is not present in the list, the Python interpreter will throw the value error. So, for example, so this is my list, list, the list values are 15, 4, 2, 10, 5, 3, 2, 6. So, here I am invoking the index, index and here I am passing 53. So, 53, 53 is not there in my original list. So, Python interpreter will throw the value error. So, value error, the Python interpreter will say 53 is not in the list. So, this is my list content. Here I am passing 53. So, 53 is not there in my list. So, Python interpreter will throw the values error. Let's uh, try this in Python interpreter. So, for example, you take list is equal to list is equal to 1, comma 2, comma 3. So, this is my list elements. So, after that, I am going to append list dot append. append and I'm going to append I so if you print if you print list if you print list the Python interpreter will add the I at the end so this is my list one two three one two three so here I am appended I. So if you print the list, so I is appeared at the end. So this is my list elements. So let consider uh, extend function. So let consider list one. LST one is equal to elements are one, two, three, three, and LST two is equal to is equal to 5 comma 6 5 comma 6 so here I am invoking the function extend 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 so I am passing the list one year list one so if you print print lst2 lst2 the python interpreter will print the print the lst2 con elements so lst2 elements is 5 6 so here I am extended LST1. So LST1 elements 1, 2, 3 appears at the end. Appears at the end. So let consider a sort function. So for example, you take LST is equal to 
थ्री कमा टेन फाइव सिक्सटीन माइनस टू सो यर आई एम यूजिंग शॉर्ट फंक्शन सो लिस्ट डॉट शॉर्ट सो दिस इंस्ट्रक्शन दिस इंस्ट्रक्शन एल एस टी डॉट शॉर्ट इट्स इट्स शॉर्टिंग द लिस्ट एलिमेंट इन असेंडिंग आर्डर सो पैथान इंटरप्रिटर विल प्रिंट प्रिंट द वैल्यूस इन असेंडिंग आर्डर सो ये से प्रिंट प्रिंट ऑफ एल एस टी सो वैल्यूस आर माइनस टू थ्री फाइव टेन एंड सिक्सटीन सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिवर्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिवर्स द वैल्यूज सो वी आर यूजिंग रिवर्स फंक्शन सो रिवर्स फंक्शन इज सो दिस इज द रिवर्स फंक्शन सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल सो माइ लिस्ट इज एल एस टी एल एस टी इज इक्वल टू इज इक्वल टू फोर फोर थ्री वन सिक्स वन सिक्स सो यर आई एम इन्वॉक द फंक्शन रिवर्स रिवर्स सो आफ्टर दैट आई एम गोइंग टू प्रिंट प्रिंट द लिस्ट सो इट विल प्रिंट इट विल प्रिंट द सिक्स वन थ्री एंड फोर सो दिस इंस्ट्रक्शन विल रिवर्स द list elements so this is my original list 4 3 1 6 so after invoking the reverse the elements are reversed and printed values are 6 1 3 and 4 so let consider a count function so for example you take list is equal to 1 2 3 4 One, two, five, two, one, three. Again, two and ten. So this is my list. So after that, I'm invoking the invoking the count. count of 2 count of 2 so here count count function it's print the number of occurrences so here so it will print the number of occurrences so 2 appears in three times so this is the first one and this is the second one and this is the third one so let consider another built in function clear so for example you take lst list is equal to 1 2 3 so this is my list so after that i am invoking the fu function clear c l e a r so this instruction So after that, we have to print print of list. So it will print it will print only the empty list. So let consider insert function. So for example, you take list is equal to list is equal to three comma five. Come on, ten. So this is my list. After that, I am invoking the function 
डॉट इंसर्ट इंसर्ट ऑफ पोजिशन वन काम आई एम गोइंग टू इंसर्ट आई सो इफ यू प्रिंट इफ यू प्रिंट लिस्ट If you print the list, the Python interpreter will print the i at at first in, uh, at the one indexing indexing values. So this is my this is the new list. Th this these are the new list elements three i five and ten. So my original elements are three five and ten. S so let consider another function index. so in the use case of the index to get the index position of a particular value in the list so for example you take lst is equal to 4 comma 2 comma 10 comma 5 comma 3 3 comma 2 comma 6 so this is my list this is my list after that i am invoking the index index of 2 so this this instruction index of 2 will find the index value for the index value for the 2 so here the index value of the 2 is one elements can be deleted from the list in different ways python is provides a few built in methods for removing the elements the pop is one of the built in function so this method is delete the last element in the list by default for example you take lst is equal to 3 6 minus 2 8 and 10 so last element is 10 here so here i i am using the list variable lst after that i am invoking the pop function so this instruction is this instruction is delete the last element so last element is 10 if you print at uh, if you print the lst so it's going to print 3 6 2 and 8 8 so last element 10 is deleted so if you print z if you print z so last element is printed so when an element at a particular index position has to be deleted then we can give that position as a argument to pop function so for example you take list is equal to a b c so here i want to delete b so b indexing value is 1 for a indexing value is 0 b is 1 and c indexing value is 2 so here i know the function list dot pop 1 so indexing value for the 1 1 1 b indexing value is 1 so here the item of the index 1 is popped so if you print list so only a and c is printed so b is deleted so if you print z if you print z so b is printed remove is one of the built in function in class list when we don't know the index but know the value to be removed then this function can be used for example you take list is equal to 5 8 minus 12 34 into 2 so here i am going to remove 34 so if you want to remove 34 first we have to uh, call the list variable name lst after that we have to invoke the function function the function is remove so here we have to pass the parameter so we have to pass the parameter and argument the argument is 34 so if you print list the python interpreter will print 5 8 12 and 2 so 34 is removed from the list note that this function will removes only the first occurrence of the specified value but not all occurrence for example you take so list is equal to 5 8 minus 12 34 2 6 and 34 so this is the 34 is this is first occurrence and this is 
second occurrence so here we invoke the remove and here we pass the value 34 so this instruction will remove only the first occurrence so if you print lst so this value is going this is removed and 30 and second occurrence is not not removed so if you print lst the python interpreter will print 5 8 minus 12 2 6 and 34 so this instruction will remove only the first occurrence unlike the pop function the remove function will not return the value that has been deleted so in case of pop function we can print the deleted value so here so using remove we can't print the deleted values del del this is an operator to be used when more than one item to be deleted at that time so here here also we will not get the item deleted so for example you take list is equal to 3 6 minus 2 8 1 so here we are using delete so this is not a built-in function this is the operator so here we are using del del uh, after that we are using list variable variable list variable uh, list variable is lst of 2 so this this instruction is going to delete the second indexing value so second indexing value here is minus 2 so if you print list so python inter interpreter will it, it's print the 3 6 8 and 1 so minus 2 is deleted from the list so for example uh, list is equal to 3 6 minus 2 8 1 so here uh, we are calling the operator del after that so we are specifying the range lst of 1 1 colon 4 so this 1 is the start value start value and 4 is the end value so this instruction it's going this instruction is going to delete the zero indexing value first indexing value second indexing value and third indexing value so we know that python interpreter is include the starting value and exclude the end value so end value is 4 minus 1 end value minus 1 so this instruction is deleting all the element from the index 1 2 3 if you print list so python interpreter will print 3 and 1 so it, it will delete the 6 minus 2 8 8 so if you want to delete the all odd indexing element of the list so for example you take so list is equal to a b c d e so here a indexing value is 0 and b indexing value is 1 2 indexing value is c 3 indexing value is d and e indexing indexing value is 4 so here i want to delete odd indexing value so add indexing value is the one indexing value is b and three indexing value is d so here i am i'm using operator del del list variable name so here i am specifying initial value one i am not specifying any end value so here i am specifying the step size step size is two so this instruction it's going to print only the even indexing value so even indexing value a c and e so it's going to print so in, interpreter is going to print the a c and e so here i am specifying the step size so step size is 2 now we will see the list and functions the utility functions like max minimum sum len etc can be used on the list Hence, most of the operations will be easy without the usage of loop. For example, you take list is equal to 3, 12, 5, 26, 32, 1, 4. This is my, these are my list elements. So, if you want to find out the maximum, maximum of maximum, so we can use the max function. So, max of list. So, this will give the maximum value. So, here 
the maximum value is 32 so if you want to find out the minimum so we can use the min function so min of least so this will give the minimum minimum value so this is my list so here here uh, minimum is 1 it's minimum is 1 so if you want to find out the sum we can use the sum function sum of list so this will gives the sum sum of the elements so here so element sum is 83 so if you want to find out the length of the list so we can use the length function length of list will gives the length so length is 7 so this is my list so here length is 7 so if you want to find out the average value so if you want to find out the average we no need to use the looping so directly we can find out the average for example so this is my list i want to find out the average of this so if you want to find out the average so let's say this is a variable average is equal to sum of list sum of list divided by length of list so sum of list is 83 by length of list is 7 so if you print the average so it will gives the it will gives the average value so here average value is 11.85 when we need to read the data from the user and to compute the sum and average of those numbers we can write the code so this is the code so here we initially create the empty list so this is the empty list lst is equal to list so this instruction will create the empty list then we are taking the infinite while loop so this is the infinite while loop while of true so condition condition is always true we are not specifying any particular condition so any entry any any entry or any values are in true the condition condition is always true so this is the infinite loop as every input from the keyboard will be in the form of string so here we x is equal to input so this this keyword is asking the user input so here we here we specify the entire number so within a quote we specify so python interpreter will treat it as a string so every entry from a string so we need to convert a x into float types so, so that's what uh, we are converting x into float values and then we appended it to a list after that we are using one built-in function appended the use case of this appended it will add the entry at the end of the list the type and appended to it to a list when the keyboard input is a string done then loop is going to be get terminated so if x is x double equal to done so loop is going to terminated after the loop we will find the average of the sum numbers with the help of building function sum and length so here average is equal to sum of the list by length of the list so this will give the average so here we are going to print average average value so if average value so for example you take so uh, the user input is 2 3 so this is the user input so user input so if you run this code the python interpreter will gives the average value so average value is equal to 2 plus 3 2 plus 3 divided by 2 so number of elements are 2 so here 5 divided by 2 so resulting value is 2 2.5 so this is the average value. These are some references. Thank you.